with an armored Jame. Smoke on Buster to defend and a little bit more in the utility department for Astralis. Going to be interesting lot. to see where three smoke grenades and all of those flashes end up. Bloody treasure trove of utility here. They might use a little bit early just to bait something out, but Yakinda, he's been sharp. One decoy is enough to make him think better at holding that line right there. Uses a bit of a flash maneuver and well, there he is, Jame. Eyes are going to be on him. Has not shown up on map one or two here so far for VP. And he's been one of their top performers throughout the entire tournament. An absolute force. He's uh, had his lowest fragging maps back to back in this series. Mm, okay, that is going to get a bit hot and heavy if they do throw that Molotov towards Newbox. Yukinda, they know where he is, or at least peppering him. The swing from Device is good enough to force the fight. The smoke does isolate, but Kicket's been caught. Zipex actually doubles up. It's on the reload. Buster can't punish. Now he can. And his chance to deny the plant. This is chaos. The smoke oh, is such a favor He's for delaying him. Them. Yeah, and Magis does push through to make space. Jamin Armored CZ and a dream. Maybe if he found Dupree, there could have been a way in. Not anymore. Does have 12 bullets and four to find. It's, it's a near impossible task. It looked like he rolled his eyes there. He's still going to have a crack, though. Yeah, USP makes it a little more manageable. Device doesn't need to release that crouch key, but he's hoping and praying he does. An armor and a CZ seems like a better fate. Yeah, not a bad thing to be carrying into round number two by any means, especially in a four-on-one retake on that B bomb site. But you can see where all that utility went. That Molotov was fantastic. It even netted Zipex the opening kill onto the site. And from there, diligent stuff. Astralis continued to spam the smokes. They weren't rushing it. They weren't just trying to get that bomb down. And this is a great start for them. Another pistol round continuing to build. This is the problem for James now. I've obviously turned all the attention to him, but throughout this tournament so far, he's been putting in numbers. You know, I had a look. The least amount of kills he had until this point was 12. And he only had four deaths against Renegades, and that was in a 16-3 thrashing. So uh, he didn't need to have a lot of kills in that game. The last two maps, his impact with the AWP, it hasn't been felt. And Inferno is a map where he's going to have a difficult time doing so. But Astralis have actually gone with a five SMG buy. Now, this Ooh. isn't something you normally see. And you, you don't normally see the, the hero FAMAS and the armor around the Deagles. So this is a, a Sanji special. Oh, it looks like a Boomage special, more like it, where, uh, oh boy, you're kind of stand. He cops an aid, 73 damage done to him. A lot of utility to clear out these close corners here. And of course, Astralis. The ones who oh, your kid is locked this. in here. Two Mac 10s are going to come jumping around the corner for him. He's going to have to be precise. Did they actually regress on the flash? Oh, flub Isolated. nade. Flub nade, pushing forward regardless and gets the space. That's something for Astralis, but still with the man down. Up mid. Smoked off. Jame, no info. Oh, another. He just filled the feed for a second. How does he get away with that? There was so much utility on Astralis as well. They didn't need to go for peaks like that. And now it's just three players in Banana executing into Buster and Yakinda. Another smoke to delay them. They've got mollies. And they're going to just bound in off the flash. Okay, Buster and Yakinda set up for success, Yakinda a third. Go on, make it all. Ace. It's possible, Dupree swings in, he's got himself a fresh mag. And one more frag. Playing with him. Can't quite convert, but four from Yakinda. The leg work is oh. done, and Dupree nearly turning things around with his P250, but that is a very productive scavenging mission. Everyone brings something new into their third round, and VP, they turn the tables on Astralis. That, that right there has to be a mistake from Astralis, not buying a single rifle going into round number two. Uh, sure, maybe they wanted to have a bucket load of utility, but you traditionally get at least one AK or a Galil or something. UMP, four MAC-10s, and Kinder just peels them apart like this. The range of the Famous versus these SMGs. Absolute destruction right there. And now it's just the pistol upgrade as Astralis forced by back in. Light utility, couple smokes, three in total. Oh, device. He's not happy with that. Your Kinder immediately silenced. The hand cannon. So potent, and so is this push. They're straight up. They are not taking no for an answer. That incendiary still ignored. He's a bit it's of a blood price. Pit. Yeah, kick it. Work it out for him now. They smoke him off. Oh, but they oh. line up and two. 
nearly a fourth as well. Dupree just about weathers through. Zipex catches the first through the smoke. Chance now, they are low. But a two on two. Jane wants to work around the smoke, but Zipex is cognizant of it. Up short as well, it's all about the timings. Buster's found one. Dupree. James lost in the smoke. He indicates exactly where he's coming from as well, oh. but Buster holds the line. Neat, tidy, second for VP. Little chaos there. Zipex does well to catch the aggress, but they tidy things up. Save the rifles as well. So we wanted to see what VP had in store for map number three. And they're kicking this one off in style. Forced by win. They stand tall against the force by of Astralis. And this was huge from kick. Look at all those chickens running out of pit. Where the hell did they come from? Three Collected. chickens. <laughs> nice little view of that one right there. Okay, and Astralis, they want to continue Ooh. to pressure this. They're going back in with another buy. Dupree onto an AK, UMP for Glaive. Couple of MAC-10s, Deagle again. They do not want to let go of this. They are holding, jostling for control. Jame, he's taking a bit of an aggressive stance. He jumps straight across for that peak. There's a timer on this. Second mid-aggression, not going to be too quick from Dupree. You would be expecting an eco here if you're VP. So oh, but Yakinda, look at this. They've actually smoked for him. I wonder if Device has a little bit of a gap on that smoke. Sanji tested. Dupree down. Device added to the oh! list. He actually transfers. Oh, Glaive caught through the smoke. And Astralis, this jockeying for control has not worked out in their favor at all. You've invested all your schmeckles again. And now just Zipex and Magisk with armor, pistols, and a MAC-10 trying to piece this two versus four together. VP are walking through spawn right now. They know that this gap has been left on open and they might just be clamping right down on it. Zipex and Magus, they're up against it right now. Completely locked in. His death could be the mark of an awkward gap. Buster isolated on B. And now with every passing second, paranoia as to where Magisk and Zipex are working. Utility drops on A, 39. Sanji returns to report long quiet, 30 seconds. They can go either way. Buster sells a smoke on the B bomb site here. If he drops that towards CT, it's perfect. You're right, 25. Gosh, that could be enough to win the round just like that. He's about to get smoked off. He could drop one of his own. Hasn't opted for it. They'll go for Banana. The timing's going to be interesting here. Oh, he's going to push through the smoke. You genius. Oh, it's perfect. They have no idea, but he hasn't hit the shots and Magic's got a chance. Smoke has arrived, but so has Sanji. Oh! He's missed his shots. Kick it in the 1v1. He's in the smoke. Magic doesn't contest. He gets another new lease of life and with his nade pulled, that's the oh! end of Kick it. Magic pulls it back for Astralis. Two on four. What a turnaround. What a turnaround. They made every second count in that mid-round. Buster made the perfect play. The absolute perfect play. Knew that they had to funnel into sight. Knew that they had to clear it. And he just flubs that shot. Oh, what a bailout. Perfect timing on the re-peak out of the smoke as well. All right, well, that's going to get the uh, the comms a little louder. It's going to be certainly silence VP. Yeah, they won the tussle, didn't they? Down to the USPs and a Zeus. Chance to breathe right now, unless your kinder does something mental with this deal. You can see, all right, <laughs> there was a chance. <laughs> Dupree has been sharp. Last round, we missed it. It was off action, but he took down Jane with that AWP quite easily. And look at this. Leaning Tower of Pisa right here. Oh, might have a chance to device, <laughs> or vice versa. There you have it, folks. B is open for business. Doing his due diligence. Checks every possibility, every nook and cranny. We have a couple of financial issues here, Alex. Only 1,900 coming into the bank balance next round for VP. Doesn't really... Okay, maybe a save gun might help. Never mind. Jam gets dealt with, and Dupree is sharpening up here. Eight kills so far for Dupree. He wants this one. Now, this is what I was talking about. James just bought into an AWP, but Sanji has 3.7. Buster has 3.6. Kick it has 3.3. He has bought Ooh. Kev, so he has a little bit of extra money to get a rifle. Yeah, but this is going to be a tough one to overcome. Lots of absent helmets. I say lots. I should have corrected myself. Only your kinder left vulnerable. No kit. Two Mac 10s for Astralis. So it's going to be very intriguing to see that first blood, especially for VP, is going to be worth its weight in gold. Finding that very first frag gives you an opportunity to stack. And a little probing mission into apartments from Astralis. They silently mantle in. That's a nice bonus of inc incorporating another player into it. 
Oh, kick it almost caught oh, on the Yeah, jiggle. he's playing with fire here, quite literally, as he drops the incendiary. Backing it up, they want it. And Dupree, though sharp, has been dulled. Banana info still being sought after. Cleave up short, they're very, they're a house divided at this point. Yeah, Bomb is still left towards T-spawn as well, so plenty of time here for Astralis to change their tune. Back to T-steps for Bomb Retrieval. CT's three, postured, ready to hold. Jame and Mini, what on earth and what a find. Sanji's gone down. They're pushing Banana, Alex. They'll get the info, get the flank. It's down to these two on site. Kick it. Tucked in tight. Have to delay. A shot from Jane will delay, but he's been hunted down and only one from Kickert. Astralis into the site. This is a chance. And Yakind has found it, converted it. Jumps through the hoop. He's so low, though. And the bomb's loose. Far from an advantage, Astralis. Awkward as hell. As the bomb will be scooped up by Zipex. Device tucked into the pit. 12 HP, still vulnerable to that Yakinda. MP9, it's not going to be an easy shot to hit, though, as he elevates on that bike position, just as Beret visible. Buster with an element of surprise here. Zipex holding for that smoke push. And Device in pit continues to remind Buster of his location. There's one, knows where the second is, and he's so low. Time, he's got it. Buster just needs to find this frag. Device maneuvering around, and that's going to be the frag and the round. Buster, does he have the time? Just... Just... Just about <laughs> across the line. <sighs> Murters Pro. Didn't get the orb either. They'll steal it, but by a gnat's wing. It's oh. far from a decisive victory. You can see how hard fought this was. Back and forth. Device did everything in his power he could hit. He was using the steps to just stay out of his line of sight. Buster jukes him. Narrowly gets back to the bomb in time. Knife out and strafing. My lord. All right. Back in, but still doesn't look all too tickety-boo for the CTs. Looks rubbish, really. Three Famuses utility. Not great. No kit again. They just got through that one. James had the AWP in two rounds. Alex has zero impact. Absolutely none so far. Just one kill to his name. Kept honest. They are neutralizing James on that cruel here. Oh, they've they've set out. him up for success here. He'll be playing anti-flash. Kick it, can tuck in, should he lose vis vision. Yakinda, sacrificial spray. Oh, he's through. <gasps> okay, well, he gets info. How did he, he kill James? I have no idea how he ends up getting a frag out of that. Never mind, the player boosted. Oh, they're gambling back over towards B here, well, so very active. Yeah, I think they're assuming that, that the, the stack's been rumbled. Assuming there may be a vulnerability identified. Smoke and mirrors all over the shop. Okay, re-smoking middle. They'll have to work hard for this control again. You can see devices lining up for a flash, setting his teammates up for their advance. Kick it's actually playing close to it. They look like they want to pop through this. Okay, if he gets into boiler, it could be the perfect call. Oh, he just made a sound. They heard a weapon drop. They know someone's there. And oh, a re-smoke. Okay, so you've got 30 seconds after that fades. Sanji might want to think about going back to A. Kick and maybe waving the flag saying, come, I need the cavalry. Glaive's selling this, right? He's keeping them honest. No info, Banana. He's clearing this out. Jump peeking, sees nobody's home. So it's fine for them just to walk onto A right now. And Kickett's left the site. You can see right here, he's on the arch side. The bomb is going oh. through apps. He needs to stop middle. This has to be Astralis' round unless he gets both of them on the advance here. Here's them. Confirms it's A. If they plant default, this slight window, he can jump oh. Wild spray misses the mark. And with that, I think the round slips away. That's twice that VP have had these rounds with these flanks that have been perfectly timed through the smokes and just enough to deny or grab a multi-kill or make Astralis' life a misery. And they flub those shots, so the pressure in those moments getting the better of VP here in Astralis. Well, they're going to continue to punish this CT side economy. It's going to be their fourth. They're going to keep four alive. This is a map that used to be a specialty of theirs, and now that it's in... Uh, well, their map pool is in disarray. We don't even know where Astralis' strengths lie anymore. If they can pop out a strong performance here on Inferno, might restore some of their faith in this one moving forward. Remember, winner of this takes on Liquid tomorrow within the second semi-final. Magus throws the smoke, readjusts. It was Magus as well who turned around when Buster tried yeah, to push the smoke. So he's dealing with these, and these are pressure kills, right? So, oh, going to be kicking yourself for that one right there. Bomb goes off, fourth on the board. 
money, the loss bonus is yet to stabilize for VP, right? It hasn't had a chance to build because of the back and forth nature that we've had so far, which means with the 1400 loss bonus that they just received, there's not enough money to really justify a buy here, but they have three saved rifles. So the question is, well, do we buy and see if we can win with the rifles or do we save and think about future rounds? Looks like that decision has been made. All right, the latter. M4 on two. Kinder's known for his impact, and he's in a position to find it. How quick on the clicks is Glaive. Yakinda's quick up. Tested by Dupree, and they swing out together. Perfect Franks in unison for him. Oh, and the boost over the smoke couldn't have worked out better. Device expecting it to be clear, though. May have a nasty awakening, as USPs do. Knock him down, and they charge two? into the open site. Must have. Yeah. Must have called two right there. There's... Uh, at least a, a, a weapon for Jane will be keeping hold of that. He came in with the USP. Should we do some quick maths or should we leave it? I mean, I, 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 if you're willing to do quick maths. So it's 1900 into the next. So with that in mind, it's, it's, uh, four, five. Kicker will have enough money to uh, drop an orb, but uh, <laughs> that means he's not going to be operating with very much whatsoever. So uh, I'm not quite sure exactly where VP are going to land in the next round as far as the buy goes. I remember when they lost that game to Na'Vi just the other day, towards the tail end of the game, it felt like they were under pressure and making some really odd economical decisions. I don't want to fall into the trap this early on the CT side. That round right there is one of the ones where you could argue, do we force buy, do we take the save? Well, they we, we see what they've gone for, holding on to these two guns. But I, I, they haven't really given themselves a chance at a full gun round, right? They haven't had that going just yet. The round where James had the orb and got picked off early, they had a couple of MP9s. Dupree is, uh, as I mentioned, sharp and some good kills to make right there, making sure there's no trade from Kick It. And you had that USP and Device off on his own little mission. Ah, guess what? Kick It did drop him the orb, Alex. So it's oh not just boy. the Sanji train facilitating James. I, I, look. I'm not trying to call him out. He's just had a great tournament and he's not delivering right now. James needs to find impact with the orb. They've facilitated this for him three times. He has yet to do anything of value with it. Cannot keep giving a guy a 4750 gun when the other players are the ones contributing. It's actually making them a bit more skimp on utility, more skimp on weapons. Yeah, it's about time we, we had a round that reminds us of what James is capable of and what that name represents. He's in a one and done spot again. Oh, when you're kin to that one, should have been his, trying to steal it away. James does fill the feed. Okay, tested by Dupree. Back away now. Buster responsible for Banana and all too aware of it. Kicker's taking some risks here, Chad. Has to. Oh, he's going to get such a boatload of info. Calls it clear that could be false. Three of them are still advancing up middle, so. Big gaps in the defense at this point. Sanji will be responsible for long. James tucks into pit. Kick it's going around the he missed world. the timing on device. Completely. He's got a completely false picture in his head. He could miss all of this. Right now, Banana is clear. Buster can see that. They have to know they're going up mid towards A. Like Buster's calling Banana completely clear. He has knocked off the head of Zipex. That will slow him down or maybe spur them into the spray of Sanji. Jane burns. Big problems now. It's all on to Sanji. And caught before he could drop the defensive util. They are low. Certainly not out of the woods yet. And Device losing his head makes things even more awkward. A weapon. Glaive on default. Buster delays. He's got util as well. Flashes could set Kicker up for more. Oh, oh Glaive nice had shot. to make it clean. Had to hit the shot just like that. Now they can double peek. And that is another for Astralis. Well they handled. turn it back into their favor. I, I think you bang on with that kill into pit. That is the most important killer that entire round. Buster stuck over towards B, kick it off, uh, walk about, no man's land. Sure, he finds impact, but you're right, it spurred them forward. There's an op kill from Jame. He's in a one and done spot. I'm surprised he even survives right there. Molly burns away in pit. Kick it grabs another, but yeah, well played from Astralis. He's six to three. It will be an eco for VP. They really need to sort out their finances. Stop dropping these AWP. Give yourself some full rifles for everybody. It's been these, these gun rounds where it's like three rifles. Maybe there's an AWP who's one of those. Then there's Deagles, MP9s, nothing crazy potent. And now their loss bonus is starting to build. So next round, they get 2,900. We will finally see a full buy. James invested again in Kevlar, a nade, and a P250. Oh, and then swallows a grenade. That is no fun. Doing their due diligence, the nades and spray is enough to ward off anyone that was considering trying to contest on sandbags. 
Is that all for show? Is that all for that banana presence that now can be left to the hands of Magisk? Yes, indeed. Oh, that's a frag. Look at that. And they'll push for info too. St hand straight to the head from Magus there. He doesn't know what happened. Device has actually caught one on the mission. Buster pulls the AK back into the site. They want to punish this. And the util pulled out is perfect. Enables them to regroup, perhaps even rethink things. 45, Chad, what's the call? Well, they know that there's two over towards B and there's a gun. So I'd be high telling it to A right now, seeing what space you can take. And that's exactly what they're doing. 36 seconds, straight up middle. Couple of flashes and smokes Ooh, to work with. double up. Okay, so if Kicker takes early contact, they may ex not expect a second player here. Yakinda, masterful bait. Has to just sit, stop the drop. And if Kicker can find one, no, he's been spotted. They may not expect him. And it enables a frag and the bomb delivered to Yakinda. They'll knock him off. It's a delayed plant, but poor old Buster's been dealt a pretty dud hand. And with an AK to his name, he'll look to scavenge and maintain. Whew, tight one there. That's going to be the seventh. But uh, any other player jumping into pit for Yakinda there would have been great. The player that jumped in was the AWP. <laughs> it's like, what am I meant to do with this? Yeah. Well, they're running away with this one now, Astralis. They're, and I, I think when VP get onto their T side, if they continue the slow play that we've seen across all the maps, Astralis handled Spirit, right? They held their utility super late. And as soon as you go for those late round pack executes, Molly, Smoke, Nade, Flash, they had all their utility. So VP, I, I feel that they need to make sure they can string at least five on this CT half. It's not looking great right now. And as I mentioned, they've only had maybe one round you could argue was a full gun round so far. Three rounds in total. One of those came from Yakinda getting four kills with a four sport Famous. True. So if we're looking at teams who are winning, you know, by leaps and bounds, the scoreline tells the story, but Astralis are looking a lot cleaner in this. It's scrappy for VP to say the best. Yeah, it certainly does seem like a more regimented squad turning up in this quarterfinals here. Astralis, I think a lot of people had a couple of question marks after seeing... 16-1. The 16-1. Not going to be seeing that record-breaking 16-0. They continue to fend that off. Thank God for a timeout as well. It's their first, and they're already in a bit of a hole of it. May have been able to use this, get dust on to contribute earlier, but that's behind us now. And they're working this buy out. Sanji has just bought the AWP for, for Jame again. Jame would have had enough money if he didn't buy Kevlar, a P250, and a bloody HE. What? Anyway, we won't get stuck into that right now. We'll save that for another day. We'll let, yeah. the, we'll let the desk We'll let Kassad and Yanko rant and rave. So Sanji has a choice. He goes, do I buy Kevlar and a flash or do I buy a nade set? And there you go. So it's Kevlar and a flash. It's a tough decision to make. And once again, who would have thunk it? No diffuse kit. Oh, make that one. Buster's got one. Never mind. All right. Well, this is really going to be quite an addictive round here. CTs have been really struggling to stem the Astralis bleed. And they're throwing something new into the mix. Magisk, wow, ahead of the pack, and Yakinda quick to knock him down. There's a second jewel to be found, and Yakinda, oh, there's so many mollies. Where are you supposed to go? Nowhere is safe. 24 points of health as the double molly spread. But he gets away. Yeah, and they have the opening. So how long can they hold on to this? That was three bodies dedicated towards the top banana. They get that kill, and now Jame has to clear back towards top mid. Sanji will be setting up a crossfire with Kickit, and Astralis... Oh, they're coming back for some mid control. They have top banana now. They need top mid. Dupree lining up. Bit of a deep smoke there. Pressure on arch side. Indicative. As he sees the library smoke, he decides to stick around. You'll have the chance. No util for the cross. Glaive causes a bit of a hubbub on short, but it is the long walk. Jiggled to perfection from Zipex. James does not stutter, though, on the repeat. Chasing him. And he's even plucked a second. Oh, it's systematic. More to be found, maybe. The jiggle, he knows where you are, and James will add a third. The most impact you've seen shuts down the Astralis mid to B. He needs to get going now. He, he needs to be able to find these guys some opening picks or be a presence with the AWP just to scare Astralis into a couple of risky maneuvers. Device is going to do the best to hold on to his big green. Money is great over there. We had to drop a gun to make sure Dupree can buy. Lost bonus obviously just going to start settling in now. Listening to the radio. Remembering all the rounds he won. Taking a quick look at this one. You can see the Molly's arrived. So he's at 100 health at this point. 
gets his first frag. We're not going to see the uh, the util that came after him. But yeah, finding the first enabled him to do this lovely fallback orping, just textbook stuff. New angle for each of those engagements. Yeah, really opening right up there against the jiggle, right? Especially in those kind of scenarios where the jiggles are so tight, they don't want to actually peek. They're just showing a bit of arm. Really punish that right there, James, showing you how it should be done. And that's four AK-47s on the CT side. So if they're going to get that ball rolling, it's going to be now. The Fuse kids are plenty. I, I'm happy I can say that. A little bit de-stressed. Lots of utility down banana again, so... Deep smoke. A couple of mollies exchanged. Yukinda wants info, and... He's not going to be able to get it through that grey screen. No damage done either, and Astralis is just waiting out this early barrage towards Banana. Meanwhile, they'll take some control towards Halls and Boiler Room. Still the three-man B lean from VP as they push forward. You can do risky business. Hard duel against Glaive. Five bullets. Sticking around, and it's just enough. Jame arrives just as he needed to as well. There's that impact. Device wanted the trade. Catches bullets instead. Now up mid, Sanji. Passes his test, as does Kick It. Both of the setups convert for VP. Now they've moved away from these janky buys. They're looking good. They got full sets of utility. Everyone has a big gun. Might be a clean one here from VP. Much needed as Vegas last man standing. He's had some good moments. This one would be great. Spotted now. Alarm bells ringing. Everybody knows what's up. Space being taken. Banana being collapsed on from behind in Boiler. Three. Two, and they Ooh. pass one another. Buster doesn't know. He reports back that there is absolutely nothing to be concerned about in middle. And so perhaps T Apartments is where Magis wants to make his home. 15 seconds left, just going to be keeping hold of all the goodies. He's got a full buy there. Yeah, that's bang on. Doesn't have to reinvest in anything. So won't get the loss bonus, but it's only at the 1900. His teammate should be able to buy. He's even hanging around for a kill or two. Risky play here by Magus. Don't go down now. Oh, he even gets the AWP, you cheeky badger. <laughs> oh, your kinder was really wanting, lusting to stop that steal. That's quite, quite the manoeuvre. Well played all round. It makes something out of nothing. Device gets a treat for the T side. Yeah, that's the best out of a bad situation. Look at this. Yeah, he even uh... scopes up on him. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay. Well, magic trick there from Aegis because round number 13 gets underway. This full buy from VP. How many more rounds can they post? 8-7 would be great. And Device, well, he spots one. Your oh. kinder just hangs around. He, he knows there's an all pretty jump peaks logs. You are mad. He knows what Device is up to. Seems to know his games and likes taking this space. It worked for him before. Took some incredible initiative and some early frag. Up mid. Are they going to keep? Well, they're not going to clear. The orb first. Another fast blood for Yakinda's banana hold. Starting to add to the tally, and Sanji's dealt with another. Getting awkward for Astralis is 13. Banana control does seem to be the answer when they can't flirt with both of them. They can't tease that they're going one and pull the strings, pull the CTs. VP starting to look almost indomitable. AKs in majority of the CT's hands. In fact, yeah, four of them. That little bit of an evening of the odds in those individual duels, combined with the resources and the utility and your kinder. Difficult to find an answer here, Astralis. This would be a big kill. Buster ready to swing and trade. Don't need the trade. Look how sharp your kinder is. This kid is a monster. 15 kills so far. And he's out of there, knows he's low HP, plays the percentages, doesn't need to be taking first contact in no way, shape or form. Can bait in Buster if that's their plan, does have the opportunity to do so. He's holding the cross to sight, so Buster doesn't have to do anything. CT held by James P250. Oh, great Ned. Yeah, that's going to soften up Buster, but it's more from Yakinda. Finds a third out of that one, despite the low HP and Dupree just trying to force the kill. Forces them to murder him. Six found for VP. The gap is closing. Yeah, money's in the bin for the last two rounds here for Astralis. Next round, they're going to get the uh, 2,900 loss bonus, so they will be able to buy. But this means they have to give up round number 14, and that's seven 
for VP. They can go for a four spy route. We could go pistols all in, BXQ, maybe something quick and poppy over towards A. They could really punish this three-man B lean from VP. For, unfortunately for them, they don't have X-ray. They can't see just how prevalent it is and how long they stick around. It's going to be four Deagles, a HE for Zipex, and a P250 in the hands of Glaive. Let's see what they can make of this one. Aim aggressive, jump peaks. We'll call out the Deagles off for that shot. Yakinda, an absolute menace towards Banana playing around the bottom. And those smokes will do more of the same. And we'll just leave Buster here. Quick rotation back towards A, but there's no flashes for them to flash on in. It is honestly walk with these Deagles out and hope you find the heads. And just hope there's a lovely path paved for you by CTs looking the other way. Not going to happen. Kick it, Sanji pit side. And he drops that smoke. It's a lovely little one way for the balcony player should he desire to cast his gaze towards this walk up. But he's got Sanji in support and that nade looks destined for success. <laughs> Can't shoot the nade. Don't give him ideas. Uh, so, oh, hello. Okay. It's quite the first casualty. Yakinda going down and a quick flick from Jame equalizes. They are heading back to Buster's domain and he's been ready and waiting with that. The jump for info and a little more nade damage as well thrown in for good measure. So three players forced two rotations and all oh, this space oh, for Dupree. That was his chance. It was a small one, but kick it was in transition, wide open and a deagle shot missed. Whistles past the ear. Back to A. Sanji's pretty low. Stralis are making this one certainly a whole lot more scary than it could have been. On the cross is Jame, holds it and converts it. Magic's running up long though, this is Sanji's angle. Kick at passive, 15. Oh, that's the shot Magisk was waiting for. One more to open up the site. Kick at denies. Can they stop the plant? Doesn't look like it. Kick Zipex would have to clutch up big in a 1v3 and Jane Busto all regrouping. Nice elevated angle could force the fight and he has found safe haven above the flames. Multiple targets, but jumping. The inaccuracy just wasn't there as he fell off the box. It will be our equalizer, seven to seven. Inseparable in this half. With 7 3 at one point, four on the trot right now for VP to tie things back up, and they'll have confidence behind them. You have to consider how these last slew of rounds have gone. Five survived, five survived, five survived, three survived, right? So they're, they're making sure that these are cleaner rounds, and this is good stuff. It hasn't been as labored as what it was in the early stages, and it all could have happened a bit earlier if they just had saved for one of those full buy situations. But James finding impact now, nine kills to his name. You're kinder continuing to do what he does best. Unbridled aggression. <laughs> just. Trying to take Astralis's banana by force, aggressively punishing against all of their often quite caged util. And here he is again, flashing himself forward and he nearly takes down Glaive. Significant damage from the nades as well. They've caught some serious flack. They've taken uh, at least the start of the show, but at what cost? If Jane pushes forward here and goes for some info, that might be the right play. They need to take a risk now that they found themselves in a four on five situation. Device, half HP, Glaive, 27. So the walking wounded. Utility, not terrible for Astralis, but like very, very late. A couple of smokes, a couple of flashes, Molotovs to work with here as well. And look at this, the bomb all the way back through the apartments here. Very late, so they're wary of pushes. You're not gonna get any info on that bomb. They've left the AWP over towards B. That means Jame could just stay scoped up Post it up, or go aggressive. It's a lot of responsibility on James Orp. Enables kick it. Tuck in on short. Dupree the first arrival, but he has the bomb. It won't surely be. This could be big, and he's ready for it. Dupree. That was Stops the, bomb the hunt. Spotted. Bomb spotted boiler, and they pivot to B. Utility thrown. Sanji running. It's not another fake. You've got 20 seconds. You've got to go. Oh, this molly's great. And there's a gap in the smoke. Jane punishes Sanji to push through. This is so good, but now it's even better. Jane needs more, much more. Tested. No scopes. Hail Mary plays. It's not enough. They can't contest the plant. Bust up. Arrives just a little too late. Dupree scavengers away. James Zoombanger. And this should be the eighth. The final round. Buster's going to give it all he's got. Smoke to isolate, perhaps. Unannounced as of yet. As soon as he throws that util, he wants to almost find a frag before he does. Glavin pulled the light most likely candidate. 
Oh. There you have it, Astralis. Pip him at the post. Eight, seven, third map. And one final spot at the IM Katowice semifinals. My top one should flagger right now, like if I watch at the tournament, um, uh, we can notice that for VP, for example, Yakinda is having a hell of a, an impact. Usually you can see like a lot of opera, have, like a lot of opening your success and creating space. You can see simple art, uh, for example, standing out. Um, but yeah, I will give a special shout out to Yakinda. I will still uh, shoot out on Amanek because every time we are actually executing um, and we did that to close the games uh, against uh... the mind games are so huge but Nafani now in position with of your hand travel lightly just your height way just a one just a believer I don't care I see you loading up my mind place me on the side well, fair enough fair enough oh, yeah. always you and me trying to be weightless like what a two surviving pieces of something always you and me trying to be weightless yeah. and i know it feels like light years in the making up 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 a thousand miles of luck yeah. don't look down we made it feet far off the pavement but we go up 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 Thousand miles of luck, oh no. We stay understated. Pressure feels amazing. Just the dust, just the sand, just the motion of your hand. Just the dust, just the sand, yeah. yeah. Travel like traveling. Just the dust, yeah, just the sand. Hey, oh, la la da da. A single half separating us from for locking in our semi-finals for IM Katowice. It is the quarters of VP and Astralis. And again, practically inseparable. 8-7 on the half and a roller coaster of emotions for Dupree, clearly. Trying to push Astralis, get every inch out of them. As this is truly a game of the smallest margins. We do have a T-side pistol for VP. Astralis have had a great conversion rate of their pistols so far, Chad. And this one couldn't have any more weight attached to it. Get the momentum to start off the final half of your quarterfinal bout. Oh, this is aggression. Clave straight down middle here. He's got a pack behind him. They're walking. They're not even charging this. And Who's this looking? Buster off guard. Buster's going to call this something afoot. Something fishy afoot. They tuck in on Banana, now re-peaking. Buster has managed to punish. They've locked them in. They won't be able to cross while he's there on T-steps. I say that. Dupree pushes for the info. He wants to fight. He wants to force the issue. Buster with one more bullet in the... Oh! 50 can't finish his meal. And they want to contest it. They've got a flash. They cock a flash. This could be the double. The double D's advancing. Off the pop. Surely a punish. Tucked in, fresh clip found, they're low, and Device puts James six feet lower. 
advancing. Three on three. Chaos in the ranks. Kick it kicks one down. Zipex into the site. This back and forth. Now the fight. It changes once again. Kick it takes off a head. And kick it takes one more. Four in the pistol round. Puts VP on leave a level playing field straight into this final half. All right, are we going back into the force by wars? The first half for Australia. So you're going to concede. Bit more difficult to pull this off on that CT side time and time again, but they're dipping in. The Deagles have been purchased. Yeah, great work. Buster needed the first 100% to enable these banana players to re-aggress upon establishing control of the site. Lovely little pop flash maneuver as well. Deagles and armor. See how far it gets them. Oh, they've heard that. They know what they're up against now. A little bit of utility as well. Nades being chunked on down banana. Nobody home to receive those. More nade damage being thrown out. Still nothing to report. And contact with the bomb being taken halls now. Oh, that's such a tight line. Cross their placement has to be bang on. He changes his angle of approach. And now he can just hit crouch and click twice. Smoke grenade. Device can deploy. Whether it's short or apps, he's... Looking towards the latter. Buster will be flashing them out chimney. And there. Oh, the crossfire. Both of them connect with the Deagles. VP lose two on the way in. Sweaty palms now. Supposed to be yours. Supposed to be. MP5 delivered. Dupree and Device send them packing. How do you get out of this? You've only got one smoke left. No territory to work with here, VP. It only gets more awkward. James through the smoke Whoa. with only a deagle. I don't fancy his chances. He's he has found a huge gap though, right? The mid to B here, they can still collapse on these two B players tucked into the back of the site now. But they're re-aggressing mid, Chad. They're the looking for that info. Perfect. It's so good. No Glaive looking. knows. Glaive knows exactly what you're up to. Buster turns on a dime. And they won't be re-peaking that. 18, what do you do? What's Going the back call? To a. James coming back behind Glaive. And he's already putting pressure onto the site. This is madness. 10 seconds, the bomb's in mid. They're not going for it. We've lost Kickit here. Yeah, he's been static like a statue, so Kickit's out. Oh, that is a horrible twist of fate. What a weird round to shape up, but they lose Kickit, you're right. All right, we will have a, a tech here, ladies and gentlemen, so give us a minute. We'll try and get this one sorted as quickly as possible, but they were locked out straight away, right? You're bang on both deagles from both players connecting. The smoke, they, they knew what they were ready to deal with. As soon as that pounce came through, as soon as any sound cue was made, they locked them out. I think if we're going to paint the picture here, and, and maybe we need to wait in these uh, technical timeouts. But uh, the Force by War is continuing here within this second half. So just a quick little restart being called. Hopefully we'll be back with you any moment now. But that's uh, Daylight Robbery right there from Astralis. These teams oh. have uh, stolen each other's second rounds away from them in this map. Always a threat, Chad. I mean, we've been saying it throughout the, uh, the groove stage coming into playoffs. So for some reason, I, I believed it was less likely making it look easy was device and dupree though two players advancing through that balcony they both just take the necessary frag vp have the win taken straight out of their sails stressful one here of course nine eight very very close scenes and look if we're just going to take a quick little look obviously we don't have kick it in the server to give you the scores on the doors right now but dupree's leading the way on 15 11 for device uh, we've got nine for glaive eight for magus and zipex down the bottom there on seven and uh, for the other side of things, we know that Kick it had that impact on Pistol. When he gets back in, we'll give you his uh, frags. But 16 for Yakinder, 11 for Jame, 9 for Buster, and 3 for Sanji. This would be the lowest uh, place we've seen Astralis finish in Katowice in some time. Chad was talking about the trend. Furs Pro can buck the trend in this half. Losing that Pistol, though, certainly does sour the mood in their return. And of Kickett's return. Looks like he is back in the server. And so as we look through the luscious grapevines surrounding the A site of Inferno, it looks like we might be ready to get this one back underway. Readies are typed. I hope you guys at home are ready. Are you hydrated? Are you supplied with all the snacks you need to fully enjoy this Counter-Strike treat? Quarterfinals, final half, Astralis back in the driving seat. And I say that with bated breath. There are AKs and Galil's uh, foot. 
Yeah, so I think that Kickit managed to take an AK through with him until the next round. Right. And uh, Buster had that Galil, right? So they, they purchased on in a couple of deagles. They've dropped the guns across to make this one work. Yakinda, very laid out of spawn, has just purchased. But if v VP can see this, we will be likely seeing an eco round. So important round here for Jame. We wanted taking... more impact. Yeah, but he's taking some serious initiative. He wants to hold this. Reveals the AK-47 aggressive mid. Astralis pivot into a defensive stance, but they're up. Hoping to see utility drawn out of the CTs, and they do. Relatively early, in fact. Good damage exchange. One they are very light on util, so that's somewhat of an achievement. Pulling out a smoke of the CTs early. Step one of many. And now they're going back for banana control. Glaive just dueling towards the top. He does have support in Zipex, who has a flash primed and ready to go. No info right now for Astralis. Oh, that's such a good shot. He's done it before, and he does it again. A second chance as well. Device misses his. The Kinder's opened up long and opened up a bit of a pivot from VP. Device and Magisk on sight. And Hit Kinder, smoke. Yeah, he's going to be able to wrap around. Oh, the molly, it's so perfect. Magic has to be channeled into the side. Oh, Yakinda's Yakinda. done another straight away. Fills the feed, and there's still five hearts beating Go for back VP. To B. Come on now. They've got the time. Yakinda's got Look all the this. frags. Go. <laughs> He's doing it all. He knows where they are. They're pinned, locked in with him. Oh, oh come Yakinda. on. Give the man his 21st. Magis denies, but the round is his, and it is exclusively his. Vertus Pro, the rest of his team, just there for the ride. This kid's had two rounds. He's single-handedly won in this game. Second round of the game, and this one right here, just stepping up in massive form. And they want this, and they're gonna oh, almost get it. Magus down to 33 HP. Alex, that pick that we saw from Yakinda, he did the same thing as NIP just the other day. Walked up, killed Rez, continued through. Same thing. He's gone out, rinse and repeat. The same maneuver, and he's pulled it off again. And he's brought this level once more. Nine nine. He's, you know, he talked in the interview, he said, uh, I mean, it was a kind of not a direct translation. He used the word like ego. Yeah. But I think he was just referring to his confidence in his own ability. And you can see the confidence in his own ability in rounds like that. Like there is not a single moment where his crosshair is not primed and ready for destruction. Four kills for your kinder. That is colossal. And he's pulled it in for Astralis. Look at <laughs> Anyone else? All right. Well, step into the ring with me. Astralis don't want to give an inch, mate. They have four sport again. Device has already found a tag with that scout onto Buster. Four players over towards Banana oh, early from it, VP. Dude, there's no way they're going to walk into this one willy-nilly, are they? But this is the thing, right? You don't want to go A versus that scout. He can play library side. <gasps> and Glaive's already found an opener. I can feel it in my waters, Chad. We've even got this boost back this aside. Boost. You can likely even spot it. I wonder if he'll be able to get out. Dupree has yet to reveal himself. Off the back of the flash, he can just intermittently well, that molly's check great. It's great. Forces them out. Zipex tucks in. So much damage, though. All over. Astralis have taken their fair share as well. Look, at the, so Look at the space. Smokes don't last forever. But He's he leveled it. They can drop managed back. to pull it back. Resmoking CT. Standing his ground pulls another one out of them. Oh, the crosshair. He's on to Dupree. He forces him down to 5 He's HP. He's doing it alone. He is single-handedly convincing. The Astralis members, he's on his way towards B, but as I say that, James does get caught. Device wanted info and finds more than that. They're so low. Device needs more. Oh. Sanji knocks his head off. They're going to get an A as well. They've done it. They held these players at B the entire time, just threatening consistently. Are they going to go for this? Now you're smoked off. It's, it's a bitter pill to swallow, but I don't know if it's worth it. Feels like they're already ducking out. See what guns you can pick up. You caused a bit of an issue for VP in multiple areas of the map. Try and save some of these guns. They're going to get a Famous at best. But they force ball into this. Uh, Astralis don't want to give up on these force by situations, right? This is normally the team that we're talking about playing the percentages, making sure they have all the utility, making sure they have all the nades. Right now, they've lost the force by wars within this second half. I suppose the saved guns they have right now means they get to dip on in again. But if they lose one of these and get obliterated, that's a chance for VP to start stringing rounds together. And this kid is going bloody Super Saiyan right now. He really doing is. doing it on his own. I mean, they, they overcome a lot. Like, just to kind of highlight how screwed this was, you can see these opening picks of this round both going Astralis' way. Jame falling, Yakinda with some opening work, and then that was the frag that sealed the deal. A was open for business upon the loss 
of Clave. Okay, 10 now for Virtus Pro. They found the double digits. Astralis trailing by one. Yukinda selling that B damage in the previous. And as you highlighted, a, a single s preserved FAMAS. It's really not going to be bells and whistles for Astralis. Yeah, three deagles, so they can hit a couple of bangers here, but oh, they're going oh, aggressive. Mega oh. straight down mid. Yeah, he's, he's been he's spotted. Ah, she'd have to hit the spray, and he does so well onto the first. It's a minor casualty, though, and it's not like that FAMAS is easy to retrieve, so chances dwindle. VP just set up a tight perimeter for any CT aggressions. Sanji would be playing with fire if he wants to walk into those apartments, though. And it does look like he fancies his chances. So, Device and Dupree. Make it just Dupree. Oh. Holding fast. Nice shot. Two corpses now. Dupree's jumping VP up. He's heard boys. it. Yeah, that's something for your kinder and needed a clean one. Not today, Dupree. Not with that dastardly deagle. There is one more in play in Glaive's hands. This is looking great for the 11th here. Look at all the nades left over for VP as well, and now they just hit pause. No sound cues, nothing across the map here. Let Astralis continue to push, see if they can find these gaps. Now they're regrouping back over towards B, and unfortunately for Zipex, he's only got that silenced USP. He's about to have a barrage of nades coming into this site here. VP on for their 11th, stretching their legs a bit. Glaive's on the chase. He might get there in time to kill oh, one. And he's picked up a FAMAS, make it an 8k. So, oh, goes for the pot shot and doesn't convert it. This could leave your kinder a little in jeopardy, but Glaive, yeah, instead of finding that frag and finding the round, he has witnessed the site fall under VP control. I wonder if he goes for more damage here. He may as well try and hamper this economy a little bit more or even give the round a crack and... I think Jane might have heard it. That was very curious, wasn't it? Now, it is just Glaive, it has a smoke. Kevlar, AK-47, damage is great. If he, he gets... He has to go now. Hucked in, he can smoke it off. Running out of time. Yeah, just hoping to find a bit, a bit more damage on that way out. Doesn't look like James going to have to pay too much of a price as he silently slinks back towards Banana. All right, not getting anything for his efforts here. Glaive saves the AK, so at least they'll have a little bit of extra money going into future rounds. 11 to 9. Still difficult to call at this stage. Astralis are finally going to be getting their funds in order here. Device onto the AWP. Rifles being dropped across. Everything's worked on out. Tech timeout has been called. So give us a moment again, ladies and gents. You can all see the bio on your screen at home. That's going to quickly disappear while we just wait for one of the members to rejoin. You went for Astralis, yeah? What was the percentage on it? Yeah, I did uh, I did go for Astralis. Like, like, like I think I went 90%. Oh, so you really, you... I didn't expect your kinder to be doing this. Um, I didn't expect him to just be popping off is continuously. That, is that representative of, of how likely you felt it was a VP win? I, I thought what was going to happen when we get to the playoff stages, teams like Na'Vi and Astralis, the two biggest names that we still have in this tournament, yes. show up, right? They show up and they go, this is our turf, this is our terrain. You can't get away with all those little bits and pieces you've been doing throughout the rest of the tournament. We will silence you. Na'Vi stumbled against a domestic opponent, one of which wasn't on anybody's radar before this tournament, and the other right now is Astralis under the pump by VP. And you have to think about one of the factors with Spirit, uh, you've got Gambit in the mix and VP. In the last 12 months, all three of these teams have made a roster change and all three of these teams have been grinding and they are on the climb right now. And so it begins. Everyone's got everything they desire. A bit light on the kits, but other than that, fair's fair. Flash for the re-aggress. Glaive's not there for the walk-up, so the spray from Buster is indicative that they've lost it. They're going straight for a BXQ. This is going to be real quick. Are they going to commit to this if smokes and mollies drop? We've seen them throw double incendiaries before. One's out. Oh, Kicker's already opened up the account. And they're in. Into the B. What an explosion of players. Buster catching Zipex through the smoke. He the can call it call. clear and they might have to. Yeah, they're so detached. There's a change of pace for you, Chad, just like that. That was so quick. They got Banana Control for free. They weren't under any pressure whatsoever. <laughs> Yanko once said to me, if you get Banana that early for free, just execute B. It's a two-on-five situation. And they're going to keep all five alive unless your kinder wants to think about this hunt. He's already starting to push towards spawn. 
doesn't get the better of Dupree, who's doing his absolute best. 17 kills for him now. Wants to hang around and look for a couple more. They've cleared out construction. They know nobody's hiding around to go for a bit of a goblin defuse here. <laughs> Bank is being built now for VP. This will be their fourth in a row, taking them up to 12. Oh, they're almost in touching distance now. We are getting close. Stralis hold that AWP for device. Dupree and Magus onto their M4s. We'll be able to drop some guns across to make this one work. Dupree can drop one. Zipex could buy himself, or he could get dropped a Famus from Magus. A simple round like that, and yeah, the change of pace. One of the notes there was they were bounding these flashes off of the roof there that were landing deep into the site for people playing close oranges, maybe people on the boost right there. And it worked perfectly. The entry frag was before the CTs could even react. So another crack at it. The saved guns are for a reason. Flash is perfect to catch Zipex. And he does go down on his early spray. VP. Not only at 12, but now with an opening frag. This is scary stuff. Device steps into James' line and he loses his life. Two early frags. Astralis aggression here. need to find a way back in. Buster's tucked in. He's heard this. He knows there's someone close and Glaive wasn't ready. Oh, perfection. VP, clean as can be. Put 13 on the board, Astralis. Starting to hear the beeps of that life support machine. 33.5 on the low end in their finances. Yeah, Max Loss Bonus has been hit for Astralis. And uh, the four spies that they had earlier, because they weren't able to come out on top of that, they found themselves in a similar position as what VP did in the first half. But they were able to bounce back. They were able to be a little bit more consistent with their saves. Obliterated here, at Astralis. And they're going to be taking oh. their first time out of the map. <sighs> Lots to talk through, lots to talk through, because as you're right, the, the money, it's not fantastic. Device can buy. Oh, gonna have a uh, little bit of a drama again. Just give us one second, another tech will be called. Yeah, just Sorry losing Sorry about there. the stop and start nature of this one, everyone. Losing their coach. Should be back in shortly, and we are ready to go. This feels like good elevator music. I find it very soothing. Mm. Kind of puts me in this zen mindset. And we are back in business. Hope you're all having a good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like VP are. Astralis mm, swallowing a bitter pill for some. So you've managed to pull off that Ugh. quick B execute. They bought Once Alex. They got it for free. Yes, they did, Chad. All right, well, it's two Mag 7s. Two M4s and that AWP. This is chips shoved into the middle of the Oof. table right here from Astralis. If they do not win right here, it's only max loss bonus going forward and VP need to start hunting. Just more, more for the CIS history books of Katowice 2021. Astralis' lowest finish in Katowice. Or will we see Mag 7s and Orps change the dialogue? Early smokes, try and force out what little utility may remain. They'll have to surely respect it. Down goes the <laughs> responsive smoke. And they know where the AWP was. Device after that shot quickly relocates over towards A. Smart. He needs to back this Mag 7 up close on short. And Magus towards Pit with the silence then for that. He's going to make it to sight, dude. Problem. He's there just in time. Does it matter? Seems to. Device and Dupree, or combined with a couple. Three on three. Now the Mag 7 does definitely seem set for more. He can play around that smoke. Always burning just a little bit. Trying to play with the sound cues. Glaive finds another. Jame hunting. Library a problem. They do knock him off the site. This could not get closer. In for the plant. Nade for kick it. I think he'll survive. Oh, oh he actually dunks him, but the bomb does go down. Jame to clutch. They're both advancing. He has the worst weapon for the job. Cautious of short, if they get to Graveyard, he's going to have some real issues. The elevated angle to deal with. He's still paranoid about Boiler, and that should spell trouble. He found the first Sorry. jumping. Oh. oh, he even gets the scope to his eye in time. Oh. Not far off. Glaive with a crucial save. 
And the frags, it's three from him. The nade onto kick it on the plant spot as well. They are just holding on right now. One player survives. Their finances Ooh. are in ruins. Astralis are destitute at this point right now, and they need to continue with rounds like this. Device getting there just in time. Dupree running back up short. You could confuse him for a T right there. The fact he gets out of dodge, he delays. That nade was only a second too late. Almost, almost for Jame as well. Down to the oh, finest yeah. details. If he denied the plan as well, it would have been even worse for James to try and overcome it. Did bring it down to the 1v1 though, and as you highlighted, that does mean trouble for some of the CT equipment. But VP no closer. Advancing early towards Banana. Strong Molly. And the fact that they throw it on the half wall does obscure the uh, often seen CT flick on that half wall jump. Looks like they're setting up for something relatively quick towards A right now. Unless they're just waiting for this deep banana smoke. Yeah, that seems to be the play. More utility being lumped on out now. VP might want to just slow things down. Don't let the moment get the better of them. Still three rounds to go here. They've relied on Yakinda with some really big plays throughout. This bounce with the board's not going to quite touch, touch Megas there. Tucked on in. Okay. Device often doesn't miss these. The util likely Boosting. to... Come and he does manage to connect through the half wall. Damage inflicted. And that's all. Very quiet. Passive stuff, hold. Yeah. Dupree with the off angle to support Magus if they do advance. Yakinder up short. The flash. Oh. Good, but Sanji holds his nerve and spray. Oh, and with the pin pulled. Dupree caught out. It's on to Zipex. He's been quiet so far here on Inferno, dropping the util. Has to live. Buying time. Survival integral. Three members out the balcony. He looks to punish the swing. Glaive arrives, but so does Buster. Now with the smoke and the bomb going down, Astralis, they're heading away. Saving for a rainy day. 14 found for VP. They're One chase. step closer yeah. to the semis, Chad. This is the thing they should start chasing right now. VP should put the hunt on. They've got a lot of money left residual. If they can start clamping this down, and it looks like they're getting a move on to do so. Two players towards uh -oh. bottom of the banana. Yeah, I don't know if Glaive's going to hold on to this. Multiple targets. It's so clean on to kick it for survival, for maintaining the M4. Buster is heading T-spawn. And it seems more containment yeah, they, than they, anything else. they've got else. money for this. They, they, they could really go for a hunt right now. could be moving a little quicker, but... And you can see when you're so close to the glory, I don't blame them for not being a little more hesitant. Money again for Astralis here. If we just want to take a quick look at the finances, they should be able to make another buy round work, but they're running out of chances. It's not guns that are the issue, it's rounds, right? And a second timeout will be called for Astralis in a few. Well, Dupree, he's definitely changed his mood after that first half. He was getting fired up, but things are looking very, very bleak now. Glaive can drop stuff. a gun. Yeah, Glaive can drop a gun. Zipex can buy. Dupree's gone into a, a, a Mag 7 again. I, I feel like there's much better weapons for the job. It certainly limits your options, doesn't it? And it's not like VP are the ones taking any gambles. Crossing their T's, dotting their I's. There's a V and an R and a U and an S in there somewhere as well. Okay, so this has worked out weird. They've actually dropped an MP9 over towards Zipex, who's then invested in full utility. He has money left over. Maybe that's to drop an AWP for Device if they do lose this round. <laughs> uh, talk about saving your pennies for a rainy day. Uh, Astralis need to put up a fight right here, right now. They have to put a stop to this. Only two rounds here in this second half. This is Inferno. This used to be their stomping ground. Many moons ago, the Spodek echoed with chance of Virtus Pro. Once again, with different names, they look to write that name upon those semi-final spots. Two rounds. Mag 7s, MP9s, Astralis up against it all. Against all odds. Looking to regain some control. And it will all come through chances like this. Glaive set up on half wall. Device to fire the, tr the shot, pull the trigger. Zipex has a flash ready for this as well, so it's a real trap set towards top banana. There it goes. Kicker eats it, but he still hits the shot. It's two rounds in a row, they've gotten away with that. Two Astralis. flash kills in a row for um, VP. Mid-round aggression has led to casualties twice now. Flashed in, no less. And a 2-2 split, they're trying to change that. 
stranglehold of denying this mid info. The gambling A. They've just smoked top banana, rotating all their forces from Astralis over towards this A site. And look exactly what's happening. VP back down mid, straight oh. into banana. Astralis are going to have absolutely no say in this. And they're left with an MP9 and a Mag 7. Kicket immediately springs to life with his low HP and smoke. He'll be trying to sell us even further. Throws more util, make sure the steps are heard. Astralis are gambling all into what will likely just end up being a single frag for device. He knows it's possible. The smokes will land. What could you possibly do? He'd have to hit a smoke shot just to buy time. He's actually got to construction. He's not willing to give this one up, Chad. Everybody from Astralis is coming on over here. They're giving this a crack. Nine okay. seconds, Bob has to go down. Seven seconds. Buster has to plant, plant now. Plant. He didn't play. Is there time? Oh, no. Is there time? Oh, no. Oh, my he God. He's down in time. My Lord, I thought he had the... The delay. Oh, when, you, when you click yeah. when you're not in the area, yeah. you have a slight delay. My heart stopped. It read four. It read four. It's 4.5. Oh, it hung in the balance of that. I don't think he knew he had the bomb. My God. <laughs> okay. Virtus Pro have secured 15, and there could be more to come. More to come. More punishment. Yakinda's on the hunt, and he does have a chance onto Magisk. James as well with the AWP, missing his shots, holding on to their weapons for dear life. They can send everyone at them. Sanji hunting, Jamon Long, Buster for good measure. Oh! Who takes Zipex's head? One more to completely deny it all. Magisk is tucked in and just in time, Sanji's there. <laughs> he holds on, holds on to what little he has. Again with the flashbang though. Crosshair placement, too damn good. Sanji did the same thing in apartments in the previous round. So close, look at the clock. Oh. Dupree had a Mag 7 as well. Not sure if that's the perfect weapon to catch that slightly extended range of the plant. Bodyguarded nicely. All right. Five chances for Virtus Pro to send Astralis out and to lock in that semi final bout versus Team Liquid. Rising through the ranks upon these new roster changes. CIS region. Chock a block full of talent. Yakinda closing in on 30 in this third map decider. Up mid. Full control. Those mollies clear out trash and close under the porch. Yakinda can just continue to be slippery. His specialty is long. A new smoke, though, may slow him down. He's ahead of it. And Dupree caught out completely. More to come. Long. The rap is brutal. Magic still in pit and a threat. And Zipex, if he catches the timing. Oh, he catches him slipping. Big frags. Sanji keeps it slightly competitive. The spray's not there. Just Jame. And a very loud glaive for the first. Maybe a oh! second. Getting awkward Get now. The bomb. He can finish it all. What was a 1v3? Now his time in the spotlight. Device up against it. Only the Famas. He's got the smoke for the side. And the bomb should be planted completely uncontested. Bomb has been planted. Device to save Astralis. Or Jame to lock it in for VP. 1v3. He's walking oh! in and Device has saved them. He'll take the AWP and he'll take that. First test passed, but by a Nat's wing. Again, another close one. Astralis are just holding on by these thinnest of margins. Even, oh, <laughs> oh my God. He needed that jewel early as well. Did not have the kit for any funny business. Zipex saves the day with this double. That's only his 10th kill as well, Zipex. So impact late, but it's being felt. Boom. Shame had the perfect play, didn't he? Straight through mid to B, even dropped the smoke in the right place. Oh, second guessing that crosser. Quick, quick. Ooh, second life. Not super fired yeah. up, is he? Just knowing what they're under right now. Guns have dropped again. They're able to make this one work. Martin Ferreira is completely removed. Every mistake you make could be the one that got you knocked out in the quarterfinals. Up mid. Taking a lot of liberties They've now, VP. A lot of space early without too much util. Yeah, and the nades are being held onto by Astralis, so they're actually going to wait for late round scenarios before dunking down these smokes and Molotovs. Yeah, and Glaive's happy to just let that first smoke come in. He hasn't thrown out his. Four gathered B. Still no utility. You have to punish this. Surely they execute. This is just walk in. All right, I guess. One coffins, one new box side. They piece it together. Flashes are great from Zipex. Still. Rotates in from Dupree. And VP, they find the first. Has to be Glaive. They're going in. Onto second orange. 
They're looking for him. A full unload of the FAMAS, and Yakinda's found him. A still hasn't rotated. They've gone, and Device and Mage is so disconnected. What are they to do? VP, this slow stranglehold of the site. They've walked in. They've done enough. Dupree out, Device has found something. Maybe this monster with the AWP can find another and make it slightly more realistic. Sanji is tucked in. A man possessed, though he'd have to do it all, and he has adjusted into Sanji. Three more, Furtas Pro have it. Just have to pull across the line. One more will do, one frag. And he's running out of time as well, doesn't hit it. Vertus Pro, baby, they've done it. They're into the semi-finals and they send Astralis home. All the big names knocked down on their way. IEM Katavita 2021, it's got a very different flavor. First Vitality, Furia, even Astralis can't touch them.